Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be testing Titanfall 2 with dynamic resolution on the GeForce GTX 750Ti and M50 and the AMD Radeon RX 460. So why am I doing this? Well, this is from the newest patch that was released for PC and now we have the option to target a frame rate and the dynamic resolution option will lower the resolution dynamically in order to hit that target. As you can see here, I'm targeting 60fps and when smoke shows up with electricity I drop below 40 on dynamic resolution off, but with dynamic resolution I stay at 60. How they do this? Well, when the frame rate is it lowers below 60, the it will just lower the resolution automatically in order to maintain 60 FPS, as you can see there. The it looks blurrier, the edges look blurrier, but you will notice that while playing the game since it uses TSAA, that temporal anti aliasing that the developers implemented on consoles. So we are using that plus the dynamic resolution, so it compensates for the lack of pixels, and you won't really notice it while you're playing. It's very well made, in my opinion. Now I'm going to do it in the GTX 950. As you can see, in order to use the adaptive resolution, you need to have TSAA enabled. You cannot use it without anti-aliasing, as you can see. But again, when a lot of effects show up or explosions, you get drops below 40, and with the dynamic resolution option, you are above 60 or 60 FPS, so we are fine. So I suggest you use it, it's fantastic. If, if you don't want the dynamic resolution to be so aggressive in lowering your resolution, you might want to lower the settings, such as I mean, occlusion or shadows, in order to get less of an impact to the resolution, but it works fine. As you can see here in this close-up, on the right, when electricity shows up, it's way blurrier. And on the left, it stays fine, but on the left, we are below 40, and on the right, we are at 60 FPS. So in my opinion, it's a good trade-off, performance for quality, and you don't really notice it unless you're looking for it. So in my opinion, it's totally well made. Then with the RX 460, again, dynamic resolution, TSAA, and targeting 60 FPS. So again, when the smoke with the electricity shows up or a lot of explosions or fight with a Titan, we drop below 40, but with the dynamic resolution option, we are at 60, just like we are doing on consoles, the same technique. But you can tweak it if you lower the the effects, or the shadows, or the I mean, occlusion, all that kind of stuff, in order for the dynamic resolution to be less aggressive. You can do it on other resolutions too, if you are playing on 900p and are having issues, you can use this option too, it works fine. But yeah, as you can see, it just lowers the pixel count in real time, just like on consoles. But you maintain a very smooth 60 frames per second, which, in my opinion, is 100% necessary for a fast-paced shooter like this one. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Fire, we target. Suppressing fire.